Hello, I'm going to be showing you how to do the six-legged robot um, extension pack. This is, going to, this is going to be the Mantis one, and it's also in this instruction book, so you can follow along with instructions as you follow along with the video. So first, I'm going to start with step number one. I'm going to move away. So we'll need a 22-meter screw and two little plastic space spacers, a lock nut, and then beam 108, which is going to look like that. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to take my wheel, put the screw through this middle hole right here. I'm going to add my two spacers. It has to be like this. The rigid part should be facing you. And then you're going to take the light nut and you're going to twist it on. For this one, you probably don't need to, need to tighten it with your screwdriver and wrench just because to make this robot work, you're going to want everything nice and loose. Like this. Just tight enough for it to be held on pretty well. Okay? So the next, we're going to move on to step two. We're going to need uh, three 14 millimeter screws. Okay, and then one lock nut and two regular nuts, and then we're going to need two blue, be blue beans. We need a 92 and a 60. Okay, and so for this part, we're going to take this blue beam here, the smooth side should be facing you. Align it with the two holes, two bottom holes, just like that. And then you're going to take the two regular nuts. You're going to twist this on there. For this one, again, you probably don't need the screwdriver or the wrench. They should screw on there pretty easily. Should be about like that. Okay, and then the other part to this step, so we're gonna take this beam, and we're gonna attach it, skip a hole, and we're gonna attach it to this one right here. So it should be like that. And then you're going to screw the lock nut on. Smooth side facing you on this one as well. And I'm just going to use my screwdriver and wrench to tighten this. Okay, it should be about like that. Now we're going to move on to step three, which is that's actually going to be attaching this tire to our robot. So get the self drilling screw that you put the tire on with. Okay. And now we're just going to attach the wheel. Put it on there. And then you're just going to screw that screw in. Just like that. Okay, and then you're going to take a 30 millimeter screw, two little spacers, a big spacer, and another lock nut. I'm going to put this screw through. You're going to add Your three lock nuts, just like this. 
I'm going to put it through the bottom hole right here. And you're just going to screw, slide that on. And I'm going to use my screwdriver and wrench to do so. Again, don't make it super tight. And keep this pretty loose. It should be about like that. Okay, now we're going to move on to step four. We're going to take the blue beam 76. It should be this one. You're going to face the ridges out to you and you're going to skip one hole and put it on this hole right here. You're going to attach this using a 14 millimeter screw just like that and then flip it over and screw on another lock nut. Okay, it should be about like that. Keep that pretty loose. It can hang. Okay, now we're moving on to step number five. We're going to attach another blue beam. Beam 76, so this one. And then you'll need two more 14 millimeter screws and two more lines. Okay, so you're going to attach it to this first hole, what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and screw that on lightning so it'll stay on. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach it to the other side, skip two holes, so it'd be right here. And then you're just going to lightly tighten these, okay, like that, keep it pretty loose. Okay, so next is step six, we're going to finish this side of the robot. So we're going to take a 45 degree blue plate, a lock nut, and a 14 millimeter screw. And what we're going to do, have it like this, you're going to put it through the second hole of this and the third hole from the bottom on this piece. Second hole, third hole, third hole on the bottom, I line that up. We're going to push it through. Just like that. And then we're going to screw this on with our wrench and screwdriver. Make this one pretty tight so it, it will look like a mantis leg so I won't move. Okay, so the side should be just like that. And there's that side of the robot. And then for the second side, you're going to do the same thing. I went ahead and did the other side the same way. So now your robot should be complete. And when you power it on, click this black button. Both legs should move, just like that. If they don't move, you probably have something too tight and you need to loosen some screws. Okay. 